In today's video, we're talking about uh, the possibility of using blood from a deceased into general populist blood donations. Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And today's question is from Alice. Hello, from Alice. the US. Hi, Alice, how are you? Alice has asked, if you're embalming and you're removing the blood from the body, why don't we just use that for blood donations? Mm. Which is an interesting question. It is. Hmm. Um, were you sitting there, Alice, while you were donating your blood, thinking of this question? <laughs> going, oh. She might have been watching the channel yeah, while she was be. donating yeah, blood. Yeah, watching it on your phone there while you're doing that, yeah. You've, You've got it, our little blood donor thingies on? Yes. From your husband? Yes. He works with the blood service here? Yes, my husband works in the uh, science department for the, the Red Cross here in Australia. It's a good question. <laughs> it is a good question. It would make sense, yes, but. There's a but. But there is a big but because, well, one of the major big buts is consent. You know, um, yeah. you have to have consent and you have to have written. You know what it's like when you uh, give blood, we all give blood. You've got to fill out forms. You've got to have a medical uh, little go through. Questionnaire. You've got to, you've got yeah. to talk about all the things got that you've got, that you've yeah. had, that you've done with your body. Yeah. You can't ask all of that to a deceased person. That's right, yeah. And you can't ask the family members because that's not how it works and that's not how the uh, Red Cross works now. There are any way else that takes blood. But so a bigger but than that. bigger but than that is when we die, the moment we die, our circulation stops. Okay, circulation. Yep, so the heart stops pumping, yeah. the blood just goes. Ugh. And there's no oxygen going through that blood. There's nothing. It stops. Within minutes, that blood is clotting and that blood is congealing and that blood is starting to break down immediately in everybody not just people that have had vaccines we've had all those questions about no. the clotting and the vaccines please don't ask us everybody. everybody it happens everybody that dies and the thing that when you start to smell a decomposed body that hasn't been found for a while the bad smell that you really smell is from blood blood because blood decomposes very very fast and it has that really awful odor so unfortunately we couldn't even get the blood, you know, in in a consistency or in the healthy state it needs to be to give it to the blood bank to do their process and to transfer it to a, uh, another person to save their lives. It's a great idea, but, you know, when we're embalmed, we do flush all the blood out. But when we're flushing the blood out of the crud, we actually, we have tongs uh, down into the, um, the jugular vein and we're actually pulling out clots and that's just nearly on every single person because the blood's congealed and clotted just naturally. And we haven't got the white cells and all the other cells that we need to stop it clotting because blood clots. And the body's getting cool. Yeah, and it's getting cool. So we basically cannot give that and we can't. And another thing, when we're embalming the body and we're doing um, putting the embalming chemical through, we're pushing that chemical through by a machine and we're massaging and it, the blood's coming out. But also there's chemical in that blood coming out too. It gets embalming mixed, chemical. It gets mixed in with the blood, so we can't separate that out. And I know at the blood service will spin bloods and separate the different components, but... No, it's it's actually impossible. It would be a great idea. I love the idea of thinking, let's use that, but no. The blood decomposes too quickly, coagulates instantly, and is just not suitable to donate. But I do like your question. I it's a nice way of thinking. I like more so than the question. I yeah. just like the way she's thinking. Yeah. It's cool. Given blood going, oh, yeah. how can we help save other people's yeah. lives? Which is great because it yeah. is a way of helping to save other people's lives. And if it could be done, that would be amazing, you know. But no, unfortunately, no. But great question. Good question. Just a reminder, we've got T-shirts. Not like this one, this pink one's special for me, yeah. <laughs> but black and white ones you can get if you go to the link on our channel or I'll include it in the description below. Um, the sales of t-shirts really help us support the channel, they help us buy equipment, they mm -hmm. help us when we have to go out and about to interview people because we yes. have to pay for all that ourselves obviously. Um, and, and travel for interviews when we come and travel to do visits. Yeah, like we're going to be doing soon in Sydney. Yes. So hopefully early next year it's going to be now. We are going to be out and about and we will start putting together a bit of an itinerary 
Uh, we're planning to do some cool things in Sydney, like we want to go to Mortuary Station. We yeah. want to go out to Rookwood. Rookwood, yeah. Um, we want to go to, um, what's it called? The cemetery on the hill over the beach near yeah. ba Bondi, that one near Bondi around there. there Clo Cloverly? No. Uh, no. I don't, don't know. know. Anyway, a yeah. few things we want to do. Q Station, uh, that'll be an interesting one. I don't know if I'm going to do that one or not yet. We've already done a really cool ghost tour in Sydney, didn't we? We did one at the Rocks. Oh, yes, years ago. did, years and years that ago. That was fun. And that was fun, yeah, that was fun, yeah. Except but for when it came around to where we were actually staying at Barangaroo and we were standing out the front of where, where we, we were staying, staying and we thought, oh, we really don't want to hear what you have to say here because we have to sleep here tonight. Uh -huh. That was all right. It wasn't it was where all, we were. It was okay, yeah. All right, guys, so thank you for that question. Thank you to everyone who writes in. Um, obviously, we have a large volume of questions and comments and stuff now, so our members get priority commenting. Yes. Um, yep, so if you want to make sure your questions are answered, join our membership uh, and yeah. we will see you in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye.